trigonometric ratios. In this module, you will learn trigonometric ratios. Hi Roy, where have you been? I haven't seen you since last week. Uncle John is building a new house and I'm helping him out. Hello, Hello Uncle, Uncle John. John. Hey Uncle John, why have you built that big right triangle on the roof? Where? I can only spot a small right triangle. This is for the sloping roof and there are two pillars making the two right triangles. The first pillar is 2 feet high and at a distance of 6 feet from the corner and the second one is 4 feet high and at a distance of 12 feet from the corner. These are the sides containing the right angle and these vertices of the triangle are collinear as base are on the same platform and hypotenuse are to be sloping roof. Right Roy. Have you noticed? That the first pillar is at 6 feet from that point and of 2 feet height and the second pillar is at 12 feet from that point and of 4 feet height. Here, the ratio of the length of the pillar to the distance from the corner is same in both the triangles. Since the ratio is the same, can you find the height of the third pillar to be constructed at that point, which is 6 feet apart from the second pillar. To make a sloping roof, they have to be in a straight line and the size of the triangle is increasing at a constant rate, which means that this ratio will be the same of the third triangle also. Now, if the third pillar is 18 feet away from that point, then its height will be 6 feet. As you said, the base and the hypotenuse of all these triangles are on a straight line. This means that this angle has to be the same for all the three triangles. Yes, for this angle, this ratio is constant. Not only is this for a certain angle, the ratio of every possible pair of sides is constant. Such a ratio with respect to an angle is called the trigonometric ratio. Let me explain it to you using a right triangle. Now, in a right triangle ABC, right angled at B. For angle A, this side is adjacent to angle A and this side is opposite to angle A and this is the hypotenuse. Here, we have compared the length opposite and adjacent to the angle considered. So, in a right triangle, the trigonometric ratios of an acute angle is the relationship between the angle and the length of its sides. Correct, Roy. For angle A, we can have the following six ratios. These are defined as Sine of angle A is equal to the side opposite to angle A upon hypotenuse. Cosine of angle A is equal to the side adjacent to angle A upon hypotenuse. Tangent of angle A is equal to the side opposite to angle A upon side adjacent to angle A. Cosecant of angle A is equal to the hypotenuse upon the side opposite to angle A. Secant of angle A is equal to the hypotenuse upon the side adjacent to angle A. Cotangent of angle A is equal to the side adjacent to angle A upon the side opposite to angle A. In short, we denote them by sin A, cos A, tan A, cosec A, sec A and cot A. Uncle John, the last three ratios are the reciprocal of the first three ratios. Yes, Sarah. The last three ratios namely cosec A, 
sec a and cot a are the reciprocal of sin a, cos a and ten a respectively. Can you relate sin, cos and ten by any relation? Hmm. Let me help you. If we consider these two trigonometric ratios and divide sin y cos, then the hypotenuse gets cancelled and we get the ratio of 10. This means sin a upon cos a is equal to 10 a. Let's recap. In a right triangle, the trigonometric ratios of an acute angle is the relationship between the angle and the length of its sides. We have the following six trigonometric ratios. For our convenience, in a right triangle, the side opposite to the given acute angle is always considered the perpendicular. The side adjacent to the same angle is considered the base and the side opposite to the right angle is hypotenuse. Take it easy, take it easy. Kya bol rahe students log? Exam aare hain. Padhenge. Jo nahi padhta usko bhi padhenge. Let's do it. Exam ke time pe thoda gun guna.